Hey guys, we're looking pretty rough today. Um, I haven't been out of the house all day today. I decided to take a lazy day inside and um, just hang out around the house. I've been like going, going all week and um, just decided to stay in today and take a day and um, relax. I was up all night last night um, searching the web and um, trying to find jobs and stuff and looking up different things. Um, just up all night. I stayed up until I guess 8 30, 9 o'clock this morning. And then I just like my eyes were pouring out water and I couldn't see to like see the computer screen anymore. So I was like, I guess it's time to go to bed now. So I slept for a while and then I woke up. I woke up like several times and uh, and um, went back to sleep. Finally, I did. I finally, I made myself get up around 5:30 this afternoon. So anyway, um, I wanted to do a quick video tonight, and um, may have to do a couple of them. I don't know, just depending on how much I get in. Um, Friday, I did do the polygraph, and it took. I got there at 10 to 8. Didn't get out until 10.30 a.m. It took forever. And didn't know I was going to have to do a pee test, a drug test. And that surprised me. Which I was upset because um, I had to tell him that the two prior tests I had taken had showed up dirty. Not because I've done any illegal drugs or anything, but... Basically because the medications that I'm taking somehow are showing up that um, there's something in my system that is causing it to show up um, bad. So I had to tell this guy that right at the very beginning and I thought, great, this is going to make me look really, really good. And he said that I need to tell any future employers that before I take the test. So anyway, that will be hard to do. Um, I don't know how I'm going to approach that issue, but um, I guess when it comes time to do it, I'll have to do it. Um, anyway, the polygraph was very nerve-wracking, um, I guess, if any of you has taken it. And I'll probably have to take it again. Um for any other upcoming jobs that I have to, t to take like that. Um, as you know, the job that I was applying for has already been filled, so it actually does me no good to take this polygraph. It was just the trial run, which it will be on file for however long it stays on file at that company. Um, but I just um, thought I would try to take this polygraph and see what it was like and all about. So I guess basically it's just chalk it up to an experience and leave it at that. A nerve wracking experience basically. He asked me all these questions and everything and basically this dude knows more about me than my whole friggin family. Yeah. Um, he asked all kinds of questions like have you ever done any criminal activity? Um, all the way from criminal activity down to, um, when was your last traffic ticket, um, just all kinds of different things. I mean, there was this page of 30 pages of all kinds of stuff that, I say 30 pages, approximately 30 pages of yes, no questions, uh, criminal activity, have you stolen anything, stolen property, um, Drugs, what kind of drugs have you done? Um, have you sold any drugs? Um, just all kinds of stuff. I can't even remember everything. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. And we had to go through each one and in detail he asked about. Then he had to go through the questions that he was going to be asking. Um, he wanted to know if you knew the difference between a lie and the truth and all that kind of stuff. And... Then when it was finally, finally ready to take the test, 
you have to sit extremely still and not move anything. And, of course, he straps on a blood pressure cuff and um, one chain around the belly and one around the um, upper chest and two tabs around the fingers. And you cannot move your head, your body, anything. And you can breathe, and that's about it. Um, not deeply, just a, a steady breathing. Um, it, it's really, really nerve-wracking. I mean, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> when he got ready, it's like, oh no, I've got gas. <laughs> And the bad thing of it was, is I had to drink a whole bottle of water before we get in the chair, and um, I did go take my pee test, but the thing about it is, once you drink a whole bottle of water, you not only have to pee once, but you have to pee twice, and three times after that, and when I got in that chair, I was like, oh great, now I've got to pee again, and I'm in this friggin' chair. And I can't get out. <laughs> I'm strapped in. And that lasted another hour. And I was just like, good lord. Get me out of here. And then, and then it's like the air kicked on. And it's like, okay. I'm not only I've, have I got to pee. And I'm strapped in this chair. I'm freezing now. And it's just, it's just weird. And then, um, in the middle of the test, he jumps up, he gets out of the room, he goes in and brings this other guy in, and they look at this, they look at my chart, and, um, they asked me if I had taken this one particular drug today, and I said, no, I only take it for cramps, and it is a, a narcotic, and, um, I'm not going to say what it is, but, uh, I only take it for menstrual cramps, and I said, I don't take it every day. And I don't know if they thought that I had such a low level of blood, low blood pressure that I had taken something to that day on Friday. Um, but I should have asked him because when I go to the doctor, the doctor can never get my blood pressure. And I think that might have been what it was. But anyway, um, the dude leaves and... Um, I asked him if anything was wrong, and he said, no, in our little community here, we have to ask the advice of other people, and he said, I just wanted him to look at your chart. So then he started the test again, and he asked the same questions all over again, and over again, and over again, and I was like, oh my God, is he ever going to stop? It was monotonous, it really was, and then you start, your brain starts to shut down, and you're like, okay, have I answered this same question the same way at the same time every time it's like crap you know I'm starting to freak out here um it's like a mind game or something and they and then they ask one mathematical question for you to do in your head and I don't know if for those of you that cannot do math in your head um but I am one of those people that cannot do math in your head and I about flipped my lid when he said, we're going to give you a mathematical question, and you have to do it in your head, and I'm like, shit, I can't do math in my head, um, I'm not one of those people, he goes, we'll give you an easy one, I'm like, okay, it better be an easy one, or I'll give you the wrong number, probably, so, that was that, and that was my experience on Friday with the polygraph. And I guess this is going to take us into another video about what I've done with the rest of the week. This week. So, uh, the time's fixing to run out, so I guess I'll just save the rest for another video. Um, yep. See you guys. That was the talk about the polygraph. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a little bit of an experience, and by the way... He said I did well, and I did pass it, so he said everything looked good, so I guess I did okay. I knew I was an honest person, but, you know, sometimes they've got to say the word before you um, can know for sure. Bye.